What's going on guys, Beat here and um, today I'm bringing you my first ever tutorial on my channel called Beat Edit and many of my friends have been asking me your render settings and like every time someone wants me to edit for them they send in the wrong what's it, frames per second so um, I'm just gonna show you guys if you're gonna send me clips I'll make sure you have the same settings as I do so I can give you the best um, edit ever like smooth fixer and stuff so um yeah first off when you open Sony Vegas here um you come up here on the project settings on um, which is this thing over here it goes project video properties or you could alt enter and open it so what you do here um the best one is um you click on HDV 720 30p 1280 by 720 29 frames per second but that's but that doesn't matter so once you chose that and then you come to field order should be non progressive scan um, pixel aspect ratio 1 and then output rotation 0 and then frame rate should be 59.94 if you're using an HD PVR and if you're using a dazzle it should be 29 NTSC but right now um, all the clips I get sent in are HD so just go ahead and click on 59.94 pixel format 8 bit and then these all should be best Gaussian and blend fields and then you can just click on start all projects with these settings so let me teach you some basics of Sony Vegas as well for the people who never knew how to use Sony Vegas and just got into it because um, they need like to render their clips so um, right here for example here yeah, we got a clip so this is our clip and so like for instance we want to cut out the part from here to like there so we do here you click on the clip and then make sure the thingy um, this white and black line like blinking is on the part where you want to split so on your keyboard you press S and then it splits the clip so you can have so this is the unwanted part or this is the wanted part of yours if you don't want this go ahead right click delete it um, which is over here or what you could do just press delete on your keyboard like so and it deletes the video and if you want to render the clip and imagine um, you don't want to render this whole thing like from here it's gonna be black space over here and then here so for instance you, if you want to render this clip specifically specifically on what you do you come up here like you can zoom in if you have a what's this PC just zoom in with the mouse thing it's the the middle one you just zoom in and then once you come you come on top of the thing on top of the video right here and then just co click click and then just drag the whole thing until you reach the end and then you can just make sure it's on the like edges of the video so right now when you render it's gonna render this part only instead of rendering the whole thing so we do you go to file render as and then I'm gonna show you my render settings so Windows Media Video V11 yeah and then you go to 6 MBPS HD 720p you click on custom you just leave the audio thingy to whatever it is and then you come to the video settings so leave the two ones same the th three ones same and then the main thing you gotta change here is the frame rate FPS make that 59 and then just drag the sharpness to 100 and then go to video rendering quality and change that to best as well so that's it and if you wanna save it you could just go ahead and save it mm -hmm. um, I'll just show you how I've got like my own preset so this is one of my own presets it's the same as the one I just showed you 59 everything alright project best so we do just find the place where you wanna save it and then make sure on um, these three boxes are ticked if you are um, what it means by render loop region only mm -hmm. is this part over here which you have rendered as you can see this part so if, you, if I don't click this it's gonna render the whole thing but if I want to render this part only you're gonna click on this one so that's done and then you just click on save I'm not gonna do that because um there's no point on me saving this video right now. Yeah, so um guys, thanks for watching this video. Um some basics of Sony tutorial. Yeah, thank you for watching. Like this video, please, please like and comment. Thank you very much.